Bible says, He has delivered us and has translated us into the kingdom of what? Of his own dear sons. What can you catch from there? It therefore means that everyone that has become a son is dear to God. I'm going to explain what it means to be dear to you. Everyone that has become a son is what? Is dear to God. Is precious to God. He has translated us into the kingdom of his what? Of his dear sons. All sons are dear to God. What does it mean to be dear? Some of you think, okay, that means God loves the son. No. Are you there? As far as God is concerned, love is a common denominator. Are you there? The way God loves you is the same way he loves unbelievers. Are you there? The way God loves you is the same way he loves atheists. It's the same way he loves native doctors. As far as God is concerned, love is a common denominator. Are you there? But intimacy is not a common denominator. Are you with me? So when the Bible says he has translated us into the kingdom of his own dear sons, what does it mean? All sons are dear. The word dear, dear means now because they are dear to him, when they call on him, he what? He answers them. That's the state of being dear to him. A man that is dear to God cannot call God and God will not respond. The prophet of bad, they did all the good, told their blood coming out, bad did not respond. But because the prophet of God was dear to God, fire came down to the... Are you getting what I'm saying? Water was there, but yet fire still what? Came down. Only sons are what? Are dear to God. When you become dear to God, your voice will be honored by God in the place of prayer. It is not everybody that prays that God hears. Are you there? But a son cannot pray and God will not respond. It's not possible. You know why? All sons are dear to God. Dear to God. 